Hi, it's Peter Temple, and this is the market report for May the 16th, 2016. Well, I'm going to start tonight with the big picture, and that's the global Dow. And you can see it here. This is a daily chart, and this is the top of the market right up here. We actually had a double top here. And then we had a big second wave because it did not actually get up. It missed it by just a few ticks here and actually dollars and because there's um, this is in such big dollars and then we had a third wave down which is in five waves and we had another five waves down here in a fifth wave so we've done one entire wave down here which now changes the trend the trend is officially down after you have five waves down and we've got a second wave an abc wave up here again second once you get five waves of course because this is fractal you go into another second wave so abc come up to the 62 percent level here and it is ready to head down and i looked at this and thought hmm that's five waves it uh, certainly looks like it and do we have a first wave down then and now we have to do a second this doesn't look quite long enough but I wanted to just uh, make sure that I, uh, of what I was seeing. So let's just zoom in to a tighter picture of this and see what the subwaves say. Here we are drilled down on the global Dow to a 15 minute chart. And this is this top of the second wave here. And I've put in a one, two, three, four, five with question marks. And you can see how this wave might line up if it was a motive wave. And this wave down looks pretty good here as the first wave. But when you get into this third wave, you see that there's a second wave missing here. And if this was it, it hasn't retraced far enough. It has to retrace at least 38%. And I am of the frame of mind that it has to be 62% because I've never seen anything actually just go 38%. And then there's another second wave missing here. If this was a second wave, it should have one here as well. And these third waves always have to have uh, motive subwaves if they're motive waves. So this is an ABC. It's actually a double zigzag. So you'd have an ABC and an ABC. And that's what we've got, which tells me, and, th and the other thing is that this fifth wave is n not nearly long enough. It has to come down quite a bit further for this wave to actually measure out correctly. So this is not a mode of wave, which means we're going back up to the top. And uh, so, so that once we get back up there, that'll be a double top and we are setting up for a huge third wave down. It'll be the first wave of that third wave, but we've got a big third wave coming on the global Dow. This is the S&P 500. This is a 30 minute chart. And you can see here that we're still in this triangle although I'm not sure that we're going to end up in this triangle. It looks to me, based on what some of the other indices are doing, that we're going to come down a little further, at least probably to this uh, C level here currently, um, currently marked as a, as a blue C. Now, it could come down here. I mean, we're still well within this fourth wave, uh, but we've got, we've got five waves up here, so this suggests to me that we probably won't correct the entire... Uh, distance down to this A level, the fourth wave, uh, we could just correct down to the C. I mean, I'm unsure as to whether it's going to end up, but it's got some more downside to go as far as I'm concerned. Now, that wouldn't take it out of a triangle. There's still a barrier triangle here that would be possible with this sitting on this little ledge here, and that means we would go up in three waves. If we come all the way down to the fourth wave, then we're talking about a, f a fifth wave up. But this is, uh, there's no way this is going to change and all of a sudden become a mode of wave. It's very much, uh, you can see here the ABC. Uh, we've got another ABC here and an ABC here. So this is all in three waves. We're not done yet. We still have got this 2116 to go and we've got some time. I wouldn't say much is going to happen before the end of the month, uh, but I'd say we're uh, getting ready to get into the last wave. It's just a question of how far down are we going here in this range before we turn up. Here's a 30-minute chart of the Dow, and on Friday, the Dow fell out of a triangle. We had a triangle that uh, sort of went up with a, a lower trend line in this area here, and it has gone south of that. So again, as with the S&P, this could end up being a barrier triangle. It would mean that we'd have to another couple of waves here before we had a fifth wave, or it simply could come right down to the bottom here. Um, it could come down to here and be a triangle. It could come down to the bottom here and be simply a fourth wave. And then we'd have a fifth wave up. This wave here, interestingly enough, is in three waves. The fourth wave overlaps the first wave here. So it's different than the S&P 500, which would suggest to me that we're going to come down to this A area down here, um, which I... 
um, I'm calling a fourth wave and I think that's what's going to happen on the Dow we just have to see but this is obviously in three overlapping waves so there's no way that this is a motive wave and we have to have a motive wave to come down so everything is telling me we still have one more wave up to go and we'll go look at the currencies next because they tell the same story here is a daily chart of the euro US dollar and as I've said for a very long time now eight or nine months the currencies are moving in tandem with the US equities so when we reach the top here the equities should also reach the top it has been moving up as the equities have and what we have here is showing this very large wave down this first wave down and we have a 38 percent retrace here which it, which it really should get to that's really the law that it has to get to 38 percent we missed it with this a wave i suspect we're going to make it with this c wave and then we will turn down into a very large third wave here and uh, so that's pretty well the end of that story i want to jump in here and just show you what's happening at a as, at a tighter level so here we are zoomed into the two hour chart in the euro us dollar and this is what i would term the fourth wave of this c wave that is going up here's your 38 percent retrace level which i showed you on the wider shot of this and this has come down in three waves so there's no second wave here again this is too short so it's come down in this little sheer drop so we've got an a b c and you can always measure these to find out where it's going so here we measure the a wave and the c wave is going to go down to 1.6 uh, times the length of the first wave here so that the extension of 1.618 and that's down at this level so it sort of makes it a double four here and then we've got to go up in a fifth wave to either the top here or the 38 percent retrace level i would prefer this level up here so we've got a little more down to go and then we've got a large wave up and that would suggest to me of course as it has been going on and the u.s equities are moving in tandem with the euro that the euro is telling us that we have one more move up in equities as well before everything collapses all at once and so that's that one i want to go to the canadian dollar which has done exactly the same thing Here's one of my favorite currencies to trade, the Canadian dollar, and I watch this fairly closely. I like the way it moves. It's usually got fairly clean moves on it that are easy to analyze. And we had a drop down here in an ending diagonal, which is the fifth wave here, and then we've had this ABC. There's no second wave here, so this has come down in an ABC, and it's got a larger B here. And again, you do the measurement, you find the end of the A wave, which is itself in three waves. You see the little B in here and a C here. And you can uh, extend your Fibonacci tool to 1.618, and that will tell you where the C wave will end. So that's three waves down, has to retrace. So we've got to come up to at least a double bottom here, and it may even go further. This is going to be a great trade. I'm actually in this one long right now, but when it gets to the top here, I'll switch around. It'll be a great, great trade on the way down as well. This again, again, this, this is a, a chart that is flipped the other way from the euro. So this is telling me that the equities are, have got one more wave up as this one comes down and so that really everything now is telling me that we've got uh, one final wave up I've looked at some of the other indices the IWM for example the Russell 2000 has come down in three waves uh, the Russell 3000 three waves the Nasdaq is down in three waves to a fourth wave so that's what we're lining up to do I think we've got a little more downside which may be over by Monday or even Tuesday morning and then we head back we start heading back up so that's the market report for May the 16th. Good trading.